Someone had asked me to do this video a long time ago and I totally forgot. I didn't have carnival for the past few years. I'm gonna do a how I pack for carnival video and this could vary for any carnival. This is more specifically for Miami carnival because you know Miami carnival is basically the only carnival that pretty much happened this year. So let's get into it. Okay, the first thing I do when I start packing for carnival is I deal with my outfits, like what it is I'm gonna wear on top of like underwear, pajamas, and extra clothes, just like how you would regularly pack for a trip. And I don't know if you guys know what to pack to carnival. If you're not sure like what to wear to certain parties, juve, carnival, et cetera, et cetera, I actually did a video called what to wear to carnival. I'll link it right here, so check that out seeing this tip floating around from different carnival veterans like Tings Nice, Roxanne from Be Positivo, I learned this from them where you literally organize your outfits by event and put them into little plastic bags. It helps so much with time especially if you're going to multiple fets. I literally just pick whatever the outfit is. It could be a bikini and a cover-up and maybe you know even accessories they all go in the bag and I, i'll put the name of the event on the bag so i just get whatever little bag you know those bags from zafool and shein that everybody gets those are like the perfect bag to you know pack stuff in this brown bikini i have a cover up from icon swim that i'm going to put in here as well and if I wear shades, I'll put them in here. I also put like my earrings and also like whatever accessories, bracelets, whatever I, else I wanna put in here. I'm gonna write on the package what event it's for with a Sharpie. And there we go and I just toss this inside the bag and my outfits will pretty much be done and I, I follow that up for every outfit so I do the fets first and then I do more complicated events like juve or and juve and carnival because there's a little bit more involved with going to juve and carnival the prep and all of that jazz yeah. Okay, the next thing I want to prioritize is my toiletries. Everybody has their own system for packing toiletries. You you know, some people just put them in bags. It depends on what you're carrying. If you're just bringing a check-in or a carry-on, I typically do a checked bag depending on whatever carnival it is. I got my regular toiletries like panty liners, pads, tampons. Obviously not seen here. I'm just going to briefly go through this. Um, I love to take samples with me just in case I need to wash my hair. I think it's a really good idea to save these because you won't have a lot of room typically for like big shampoo bottles or whatever and stuff like that. My favorite shampoo to buy is Dr. Bronner's um, Peppermint Oil. I feel like if I really need to wash my hair and I really need to get paint and dirt out, that is the best one to use. Another thing you also can do and this is probably common knowledge, getting the small bottles from like Target or Walgreens. Depending on how long you're gonna be at a carnival for, I've been to different countries for almost up to two weeks, so sometimes, sometimes this size won't work, absolutely. <laughs> but if you're just going for a weekend, this would be perfect. I just get these either from the dollar store, Target, you know, the, the dollar corner or whatever, um, Walmart dollar area, and they sell them sometimes in a pack or individually. I also get the, like the little spray bottles or the little ones with the app applicators to pump, like for lotion, whatever. That is pretty helpful in my opinion. Another thing that I really, really cannot go to carnival without, especially if I'm sharing accommodations with people, is poopery. And I feel like this really works, especially if you had to take a dump and you live in a accommodations with a bunch of people. I link this on my Amazon storefront. But and I actually wrote a blog post with all these essentials. So if you guys are looking for a, like a list of essentials of things you will need per like event, like Juve, Carnival, Fets, um, what you need to pack, I have it all on my blog. So definitely go and check that out. 
So toiletries, you know, I got my deodorant. Sunscreen is a must. I don't use the Neutrogena um, spray sunscreen, the aerosol, because, it, you know, they had to call everything back. I use it on my face and I use it on my skin. This I use on my body. I have another face one as well. Always take with me Palmer's coconut oil. Um, who would put me onto this? Maria, Bella Rosa blog. She put me onto this in her stories because her skin is always looking immaculate. <laughs> another thing I pack is extra wash rags, towels, towels for my hair, towels for my body because the amount of bathing or taking showers that you have to do when you go to carnival between fets after juve um it's just it's 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 definitely more than a regular trip in my opinion so the thing that i never leave without i don't have everything here because this is literally just me showing y'all stuff i'm not going to carnival this year but um, I always take band-aids with me those things especially if you don't have this stuff in your house already is to just get a mini safety kit with like band-aids gauze you know, because the reason why I bring this is because I've had incidents where like I cut myself or one of my toenails came off and it just wasn't fun another thing too that I realized that a lot of people don't think about is if you have allergies because I have allergies to certain medications I used to go around with like um, a medical ID bracelet. I actually need to buy another one, but that's important. If you have allergies and something happens to you like in a FED or just maybe in transit or whatever the case may be, you just need to make sure you have some sort of identification on you. I think Benadryl is a good thing to carry as well. Obviously your vitamins, medication if you need it, pump your asthma pump, you definitely need that. All right, so next up is basically like electronics. Everybody has a mobile phone, right? So one thing that I cannot, can't, and I stress this, is this portable charger. And I have bought, I got this on Amazon like years ago, and I still use it up to this day. It's just you have to be very mindful of the USB cords, especially with whatever type of smartphone you have. But I take this with me on the road to FETS everywhere because you don't want your phone to die and you're away from your friends or you don't know where you're going or you need to take a lift or an uber imagine you taking video and pictures all day people be snapping and, and insta storying and posting all day and then when it's time to leave you know like how do you find your friends if you you know if there's no outlets around and stuff like that I also take my charger with me on the road just in case. I just can't leave that up to chance, especially as a content creator, because I use a lot of juice on my phone. Um, for photos and pictures, I absolutely love this. This is a portable tripod that you literally, it literally comes with a remote, and I literally take this with me everywhere. And I take my own photos and pictures sometimes with it. And you don't have to take this with you if you don't want to this is basically a expandable um, tripod for vlogging I really love this tripod and the camera that I'm holding right now so this is the Sony, Sony ZV-1 this is my camera it's a little dim because it's white <laughs> I love this camera it's so small and it's so compact if you are a content creator and you really love, do like a lot of YouTube I actually got inspired to get one of these from a fellow content creator she's from Dominica D's Curve shout out to her literally I can put it in my purse or I literally get carried on the tripod and vlog and do whatever but if you want to vlog too you don't really have to drop as much money as I dropped on this you can just use your phone because I use my phone all the time too to vlog as well this, if your phone case is or isn't already waterproof then you need one of these whether it's for carnival juve or fets because you never know when people are going to get in the spirit and start throwing water for whatever songs that are playing so i bring this with me i have a bunch of these often the carnival bands and juve bands may or may not put these in their goodie bags so this is something really important um you just slip your phone in it you close this just make sure your phone can fit and you know you can tie this around your neck but just be careful because some of these are really flimsy to the point where they pop this one isn't that flimsy i've used it a few times so it's pretty good shout out to alive so now we're going to talk a little bit about accessories for fats 
Now everybody knows that they should be, they need to be wearing their masks, especially during these fets. Um, if you are watching this from Miami Carnival, I made sure I got like um, some new masks. These are N95s in different colors, and I think, yeah, I think this is 40 pieces. No, this is 30 pieces, white, black, and gray. I will link this below. I always bring these with me. So, good wipes down there wipes. These are pH balanced, biodegradable, flushable. Well, I don't flush wipes, so I don't know about y'all, but these are supposed to be really, really good for your VJJ because they don't have any of, you know, like scents or something like that. Another thing for FETs is you need to also, you're gonna obviously sweat a lot. One of the things I really like that I don't have right now is um, the Axe Body Spray. There's a small portable one for women. I'll just pop that right here. And I really love that Axe Body Spray because it keeps, keeps me feeling fresh because my deodorant definitely doesn't last throughout <laughs> a FET of me jumping up and down and winding up and down and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, the wipes. I carry my flag. This flag is actually the Caribbean Unity flag and I got this in St. Kitts and Nevis from Chatterbox Juve. And I just love carrying this because I think it's such a cool flag. It has literally every flag on it, including mine. So this is my flag right here. This I wish Chatterbox would um, sell this because I think a lot of people would buy that. Always carry this for my phone because you just never know when the water gonna start flying. A fan is definitely important as well. You know people that carry their fans, this is an old one from Sunrise Breakfast Party. There's the portable fans as well on Amazon that you can also purchase if you tend to get hot and you really need that relief. Or a small travel size sunscreen just to re-up because the sun is no joke in the summertime. So don't forget your shades. That's important too. A lot of people I know also tend to bring rags with them. So if you're more of a rag person, you can bring like a small rag to the Fed. If you sweat a lot, this is mostly for guys. I know guys carry a lot of rags with them as well. I mostly take these if it's like maybe Juve or something like that. But if it's the type of Fed ladies that you wanna wear a hat, it doesn't have to be a cap like this. It could be, you know, like a beach hat or something else, whatever the case may be. It could be something fashionable as well. I will link some fashionable options in my Amazon storefront, so check that out. All right, let's talk about carnival necessities. In terms of getting ready for Juve and carnival, it's just kind of the same as you getting ready for a fete. You take a shower, you use your toiletries, you put your makeup on or you get makeup done, whatever the case may be, you get your hair done, etc., etc. Let's start with Juve. When I go to Juve, very important if you are going to Juve. When I go to Juve, the first thing I do, so as I'm getting ready, I have my Juve outfit. This is my Juve outfit, it's like a swimsuit from Icon Swim. Y'all, Icon Swim sells a lot of nice swimsuits, especially monokinis that look just like, can pass for Monday wear or pass for Juve wear. Like the material is great when you're getting like water, paint, powder, throw on you, just pop this back in the washing machine and wash it. Carnival Lista sells stockings. Now it's up to you if you want to wear stockings with your Juve outfit. I know a lot of people that do it. Sometimes I wear Juve stockings, sometimes I don't. It just depends on what I'm wearing. People also ask about underwear. So there's the micro V thong that Carnivalista sells. It's right here. I checked that out if you are concerned about wearing underwear. Some people wear underwear, some people don't. Some people just go out with the swimsuit on, no stockings, or with the swimsuit on and the stockings. It really, it just really depends on the person. Another thing too, before you put your stockings on, make sure you put socks, socks on first so it doesn't like um, bother your toes because you're gonna be doing a lot of chipping, jumping, winding up and down and stuff like that. The last piece for, for Juve is, is really wrapping your hair. So it just depends on the person, the kind of hairstyle you got in, etc., etc. Now, a lot of the times you'll see people wearing hats. There is also the hair umbrella that you can use, which is, I guess, probably the best option in my opinion, especially if you have long hair. Now, let's say you didn't know anything about covering your hair. Or you didn't even think about it, right? I end up just bringing like a plastic bag like this from the grocery store and I would end up putting all my hair in it. Sometimes I buy 
the shower caps as well but sometimes I can't find a jumbo shower cap to fit my hair but if you have shorter hair a shower cap would work just as well after I put this on my head I'll put an old t-shirt over it and just kind of style it like with a little you know like a head wrap there's also this this store I'm gonna link it in the description but and, and also put their ad on the screen but they have an, a very easy fabric wrap where if you don't know how to wrap your hair all you got to do is put this thing on and twist it around a couple of times and your hair is wrapped and some people are tender headed like me I don't really like wraps on my head so I would probably opt for the hair umbrella or maybe this if I'm desperate or just wear a hat so like if you feel like you can wash your hair easily then you may not even have to do all of that like I know some people with curly hair like all they got to do is wash it and rinse it out and call it a day or if you have straight hair you can do that too or wavy hair whatever but if your hair needs attention like serious attention then I would definitely cover it or if you have a really nice style and you ain't trying to mess that up until carnival day I would definitely cover my hair back to things that you should pack especially for juve because paint powder water clay all of that is going to be in abundance right the trick with getting all of that off is prepping your skin ahead of time so putting the the baby oil or the Vaseline over your skin is gonna help break down that paint so it doesn't stick to your skin. Another tip I always practice is going to find the water truck before Juve ends and making sure I get all that paint and powder off my skin, especially if you're taking an Uber or a Lyft or if you're in a rental or in somebody else's car. Also in terms of underwear, so I have this thing, it's called a road panty and I mentioned it in my what to wear to carnival video. And this was made for me by Asek Designs. She's on Instagram. You can follow her and see if she still is doing it. I got three of these. I got one in a in my last what to wear. I'm actually wearing one in my what to wear to carnival video. Um, I got this bronze one. This goes perfectly under like share dresses, share clothing. Sometimes I'll wear it as a juve bottom because it is like swimwear. And it, it is so comfortable. It's high-waisted. It's cheeky in the back. But check her out. Also check out Chris M. Who might be able to do that for you too as well. So I pack garbage bags because I feel they're very helpful. Especially after Juve. If you are driving from Juve, I would suggest packing extra towels or extra sheets. Because you can cover your car seats. Well, I'm taking a lift after Juve. But let me show you why. So this is typically what your duvet package comes in and it comes with this little drawstring bag. What I tend to do is I put dry clothes in a Ziploc bag and I put it in my drawstring bag to change in after duvet. You can also bring garbage bags and put them in a Ziploc bag and you can literally open them up and spread them over the seats so you don't dirty the Uber or Lyft seats. I really hope that helps. So when it comes to duvet, you typically get these on pickup. And these are like the drawstring bags and whatnot. So what I tend to do is I'll like I'll take off like two of these and I'll put them in here or I'll put them in a Ziploc bag so they don't get wet. If I can fit like one or two in like my little carnival bag, then I'll do that. But sometimes if you get these, you can also put like dry shorts, dry shirt in a Ziploc bag and take those out and just change if you have to take an Uber or Lyft or if you have to get in a taxi. I also carry these too for my dirty clothes if I can't wash my clothes while during carnival whether it be for lack of time or facilities I just put all my dirty and wet clothes in here after they're dry and separate them from my other clean clothes and put them like in the bottom compartment of my suitcase all right let's talk about bags these bags are all from Carnivalista and they are Carnival slash Juve. You can you can even take these to a fat if you want to. This is the small Vega bag. It goes around your waist. This is the wrist bag and basically you just kind of put your wrist in here and you can Velcro it. It's hard to put on with one hand so I'm going to show you guys like that. But it stays on your hand. You put your stuff in it. This is the thigh pouch that I swear by, that I absolutely love. This one's a little painted up because I've taken this to Juve a couple times, but I love it. I just put my, my wipes, my portable charger, my phone, car key, hotel key, whatever else needs to go in here. Even my phone charger goes in here too. So these bags, 
definitely save a whole life because you know you don't want a lot of stuff in your hand and all that stuff so like imagine you have this already attached to your hand you have this attached to your waist you have this attached to your your thigh if you guys are interested in purchasing these bags my discount code is bahamianista2021 it gets you i think 10 percent off so just go to the website carnivalista.com and check these out i'll try to give the direct links for these in the description box below because i feel like this video is all over the place i have a much better organized list on my blog for packing fets juve and carnival like going on the road so if you guys are interested just check the link in my description box below but when I'm getting ready for carnival, I've already taken my shower, I've done my hair. I don't need to cover my hair for this unless I want to wear a hat on, but before I put my costume on. One thing I definitely pack are pasties or smoothies as Carnivalista calls these. They have a variety of different colors on their website. Check them out. I literally swear by these as well because they match my skin tone perfectly as you all can see whatever the body wear looks like for the costume or Monday wear I put these on first I'll put on my V thong from Carnivalista I'll just put that right here so you guys can see it that's also available on Carnivalista then whatever stockings I want these stockings are the truffle sparkle from Carnivalista they are a bigger fishnet they have like a gold lyrics going through them I've also worn Truffle Gliss, which is a smaller fishnet with a rose gold stone throughout the fishnet. And it gives this really pretty finish, but my favorite, favorite, favorite is the regular naked style truffle look. Small fishnet, and it's just so comfortable. It just looks like, my, sometimes it looks like I'm not even wearing stockings. There's also the diamond style. It's much thicker stocking. And it has a gold lyrics throughout with also different colored styles of stockings. They have green, pink, red. It really just depends what you feel like wearing for that day. So check out their website. Like I said, I wear smoothies. I wear these. We also have um, some boob tape that I've tried it, but I, yeah, I'm not a, quite an expert on boob tape. You know, I get a lot of questions about tips for first time plus size masqueraders or curvy girls. I did an IGTV with a couple of curvy masqueraders that know their sugar honey iced tea. So check that out. I will link that in the description box below. These are basically carnival shoes I would pack. So carnival boots or carnival wedge sneakers. I also pack my Juve shoes, which is basically like flat boots or high top sneakers. The accessories that go with these, especially if these are like brand new and they're not broken in like sometimes i'll get dr shoals especially for the ball of my foot because it tends to hurt sometimes before you pack your carnival shoes make sure but break them in for like a few weeks before packing them because you don't want to go on the road with brand new shoes and your feet start to kill you also if there tends to be mishaps with your costumes like gems falling off or string coming loose or something is too small or too big if you're good at sewing and you can make those little alterations. I always suggest that people buy this mini sewing kit. I mostly use my mini sewing kit to sew my stockings to my my costume bottom so you know the band isn't showing. And that's not a ne necessity for people, but if you really want like a very seamless look with no stocking band showing, I use brown thread and a needle to sew my stockings to the costume bottom. I'll link a video here where I explain how I sew my costume bottoms to my stockings. But it's a pretty easy process. It's only you sew it in a few spots and you should be able to use the bathroom quite fine. So if you do run into problems where gems are falling off and you know maybe the trim is falling off or your costume or your headpiece and stuff like that, What's important to get is a glue gun and glue glue sticks. You can get those for really cheap on Amazon. There's also fabric glue that you can get if, say for instance, like maybe you had like an overlay on your costume on a piece of fabric and you need to glue that down. You can also do that with a hot glue gun and glue sticks, but you could also do it with E6000, which isn't a hot glue gun. If you're a newbie, just get the hot glue gun and the glue sticks and it should work fine. 
anything but if it's something where the heat will damage the fabric even more e6000 or fabric glue should work people will actually think of is look at the strings on your costumes like in the pictures and see if you can get extra straps because a lot of the time that's like a hot commodity at the mass bands or the mass camps when you're picking up costumes strings might be too short to tie your backpack to tie your bra it's helpful if you can get like fabric that matches your costume like spandex fabric or old straps whether they're from a bikini or something like that and literally cut them off and just have them as extras if you do lose your straps or if you don't have enough straps to tie your bra or if you don't have enough straps to tie the backpack on your back that actually happens very frequently what I tend to do is I'll get some fabric from Amazon or you know a fabric store Joann's or something like that like a four-way stretch fabric like something that's very stretchy and I tend to cut strips and I pull them taut so they look like straps like this if you guys need a little demonstration I could do a quick video but just let me know in the comments below if you are still confused but definitely get extra straps for your costume try to get them on um, the same color as your costume as well another thing to keep energy levels up and to not get sick because a lot of the time you are putting a lot of stress on your body when you're at carnival you're not sleeping as much you're drinking a lot so i definitely take my vitamins with me i think what's very helpful is b12 vitamin c because you're gonna be tired there's gonna be points after carnival where it's like you feel so sore and exhausted because you literally just been dancing all day chipping on the road what epsom salts are very good as well taking warm baths after carnival even like even an ice bath if you're into that so just those things along with the norm of course i didn't include my makeup and whatnot but I think, you know why? I feel like you should guys should watch a lot of different carnival packing videos because everybody's perspective is different and everybody's routine is different. Like when I go to carnival for however many days there are, for example, for Miami carnival, there's one day of carnival. I get my makeup done. I don't do it myself. And the make because the makeup artist knows what she's doing. She has all the waterproof products, etc., etc. So somebody else that does their own makeup might have, you know, more recommendations in terms of what you should use. And whatnot but those are just some basics you are looking for any of these items I've listed them on my blog in several blog posts like for instance carnival essentials what you should pack what you should take with you to carnival to fats to juve uh, there's also another um, list on my blog about what shoes to wear for carnival or where you can find shoes or where I personally have found my own shoes and all those all those videos that I've linked in this video check them out make sure you watch those as well let me know what you think of this video miami carnival is around the corner i personally won't be going just because the covid situation on in, from my perspective is just a little bit too real but if this is helpful let me know what you guys think and put it in the comments below don't forget to like share and subscribe and i hope you have a safe and happy carnival bye